This will help give it some tomato flavor. Give it a good stir. And set your heat on medium. Now, as far as our vegetables go, we've got some onions, tomatoes, ginger, parsley up top, some basil, carrots, some celery. This is what we'll be using. So you can see I'm finishing up the tomatoes here. That's going to be the bulk of our bisque. Just add those to the food processor. Some carrots. Of course, let's chop up this celery and we'll add that as well. Leaves are okay to go in. Perfect. Oh, I dropped one. A little bit of parsley. And we'll throw in some fresh basil leaves. Now that we're secure, go ahead and blend this for a bit. Don't forget the ginger. And a few garlic cloves as well. Three sounds good. And once again, we're gonna blend. Now to our stock, we're gonna add everything we just blended to it. Give it a good stir. Some red wine. This is a sweet burgundy wine. It'll enhance the flavor. Now back to the cutting board. I'm going to cut up an entire onion. That will be our next step here as we go to the skillet. But you want all these just nice congruent slices. And there's my daughter. And my wife, don't mind them, they're really hungry for some lobster bisque. Hot pan and some butter. Take all that onion to it. We're just going to saute this for a while. We're going to get it to where it's just about caramelized. As you can see, that's got some good color in it now. And I'm adding cornstarch here because we're going to need this bisque pretty thick. Gonna add the cream over the top of this after we stir it in real good. Just like so. Now, this is a little bit of a tedious process. You're gonna stir the cream in, you're gonna boil it, you're gonna stir the cream in again, and this will go back and forth until you've added all the cream that needs to go into this bisque. And as soon as it thickens, which you can see here it has, we're going to add some Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning has thyme, majorum, rosemary, sage, basil. So obviously those are some good ingredients to add for flavor. Now see how it's thick enough? It's ready to be added to the soup. Now this tomato is rolling boil, which is good, because I'm adding this it'll incorporate a lot better. And you can see that the bisque gets its thickness from adding this boiled cream. Give that a good stir. And we're going to let it reduce. Now here I've got some langostino lobster tails, which are just little miniatures, not much bigger than uh, crawfish tails. But I'm taking half of it and we're going to cut it up thin. This first half I'm going to add to the bisque so as it's reducing it gets the lobster tail flavor. This half we'll add later, okay? So break it up, add the first half, chopped up small pieces first. The reason we're doing this is langostino lobster tails are already cooked so we don't want to get too chewy by cooking them too long in the bisque. But we do want the flavor, so we'll stir that in. 
and let it reduce. Add some pepper. And we'll wait for this to completely reduce. Like that, you can see I've lost about a half inch. Now we're gonna add the rest of the tails. This tells you that it's thickening up exactly the way you want it to. You can see here, it's getting pretty thick. See how it floats and stays right there on top when I lift it up? It's not dropping to the bottom. So that tells you you're ready to serve. And what I've got here is miniature French bread. It's sub sandwich style. We're chopping it up here so we can toast it. Looks good, doesn't it? In fact, I think I'll eat this piece right here. Now, what we're going to do with it is add some garlic, some salt, and some vinegar. When it comes out of the oven, we're going to brush them lightly with this. It's going to add a lot of good flavor to those crouton style toast pieces that we'll, we'll be adding to our bisque. Don't be shy with it. It really does add some good flavor, so add as much as you want. Doesn't even hurt to throw a few of those chunks on there if you want. It's good. Throw them right here on the side of your, your soup bowl. Start adding your bisque. This is the best part, by the way. Mouth watering, just watching it. Man, I can't wait to eat it. Right to the top. And I'll garnish it here with just a piece of parsley. Right in the middle. And there you have it. Lobster bisque right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.